I mean, the bottom line on this particular hunt is you're at the mercy of God. If the wind's bad, if the fog comes in, there's not much you can do. But when things are right, they know where the bears hang every year, year after year, and they're putting you in on them. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And like we told you last week, it's part two of Vancouver Island with Trophy West spotting and stalking coastal black bears in the inlets of the island. Which is really cool. Trophy West, Glenn and all those guys up there, Glenn and Ken. Crab and Cronin. And just... Amazing, amazing trip. And we had awesome footage. This week's Lucky Logo, though, before we forget, True Glow. When brightness counts, count on True Glow, Range Rover sight. Unbelievable. Incredible. So yeah. watch for the logo. And at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do if you saw that. So if you missed last week's show, I hunted for a couple days, Ralph came in, shot his in 20 minutes, and now I'm back up to bat again, so Ralph now has to sit behind and watch really me go hunting. Because you really didn't want to see Vicky just hunt and, you know, not get anything. No, you so had we had to make a in. part two. Call me in. No, that's why we're this week. Yeah. So it took you two weeks? No. Oh, okay. I felt bad for you not being able to hunt, so I let you hunt and you shot your bear quick, and it was my turn, and now it's my turn again. And you guys had me running all over the mountainside. That's right. All over it. But sure. anyways, we got lots of footage to show, so yes. let's get going, shall we? Sure. Okay. A lot of black bears, a ton of grizzlies. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Lots of grizzlies. <laughs> Lo and behold, we made our way about 400 yards, and sure enough, I'm hunting for 20 minutes, and we spot a bear. We got off to stalk on uh, on the shore in one of the estuaries, and geez, we were well. We were still in sight of the boat. We hadn't even rounded a corner, and uh, we were bumped into a, a nice boar and ended up taking it. This bear looks like he's been mauled. We had a grizzly sow and cub over here. We, we played that wind real tight. Got within 40 yards of this bear, and I mean, my first time out, and I get a shot. Sorry, Vic. I'm gonna tell you what. We tracked him all the way here. I believe I got one lung. But we did the right thing because Glenn knows his bears. And he said, we are in heavy grizzly country. Now, some people would say, why? I wouldn't shoot him. Here's the thing. This bear is in bad shape. He's got bad wounds in there. He is just torn up. You could see holes. You know, we as hunters are also conservationists. And we had to make a call on that bear, and, and I had I have no regrets whatsoever. That was that bear ended up going six six. You know he's real gaunt, real skinny, but that's because man he he it, he had a rough ride. To have the honor and the opportunity to take a bear like that with my Hoyt, it just doesn't get any better. Ken, I, Ken, I'm sorry it took so long. Jeez, <laughs> twenty minutes, my lord. Yeah, your wife is not, um, she's thrilled for you, Ralph, but after all the walking she did, she said, it's just not fair. It's just not fair. <laughs> My coastal black bear hunt with Trophy West that I've waited five years for ends up being about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and I'm back on the boat glassing for Vicky. What is wrong with that picture? Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> to my wife. You, you are extremely special. Thank you. Good luck. I they just, shoot a big bear. I just. Aww. <laughs> you, you're so special. Very special. Very special. Of course, I just phoned to wish my a happy Mother's Day, and she's asked me if I was feeling okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is your problem out there, or what? You know, like. I think one of the things that we 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 are known for, and that's having fun. And when you when you're hanging with Glenn and Ken and and Shannon and and everybody here at Trophy West, you just know, no matter what, you're gonna have a blast, and we're gonna laugh and have a good time. We're gonna go head into this estuary back down here. Ralph actually shot a bear yesterday afternoon on the one side where there's two grizzlies playing around on the right side. Ralph shot one on the left side. We're gonna go in and try to get a little further into the estuary where they were actually heading yesterday when they got upon that bear. But we have beautiful blue skies and sunshine for us today, so no more rain. Beautiful day. A beautiful day. Looks pretty good right in here, Matt. Whether you're on the shoreline or you're up into the timber, it's not an easy hike, that's for sure. Even on, out on the shoreline, you've got big rocks, all kinds of things, and a lot of deadfall. Same within the timber, you got big deadfall, lots of things that you're climbing up and down, and you better make sure your legs are ready for this. There's two grizzly bear over there. They look about the same size. Yesterday afternoon when Ralph was doing his stalk, we saw a sow and a cub because you, there's a huge difference in the size between the two, but those two look almost the same size, so that could be two different two bears. So we're, we're looking at like four different grizzly over yeah, there. that's right. But they found a huge bed over here when Ralph got his black bear, and we just saw some big tracks. Yeah, that's why the sow and the little ones are over there. Because the, the big guy's the big on this guys side of the river? Awesome, <laughs> great. Hunting with Vicki has been excellent. She's a great hunter. I, I couldn't be happier with a person to, to uh, be with. She's very knowledgeable, so there's minimal, it's minimal for me to take a person like that. And she just knows as much as I do, you know? Makes my job easy. <laughs> I fall in at the very last step. <laughs> They're like on alert over there. They're not happy. What's going, oh, there's another bear. It's a big one. The behind that gray rock, there's another bear coming out. Another grizz. Look at that. Oh, don't come this way. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. So there's a lot of variables that you don't deal with, you know, hunting most of your, your Midwest stuff, but it sure creates the challenge that makes it fun. Folks, this is the ultimate bear hunt. Well, I figured I'd take Glenn out and teach him how to halibut fish. I'm just doing what I, you know, what I do. In neutral. I'm gonna put in neutral now. A little bit to the right, then a little bit more, and just a bit more. We're all right now. You know, I love these clients that guide the guides. Oh, unbelievable. He's a perfectionist with no perfection. That's, what, he, he's perfected that though. If you yeah. put it in reverse and back up. Here he more, goes. More this shore over here. Uh, okay. What now? Reverse and back up that way. Yeah, it's a good spot. So good, the fish don't even know about it. Oh, geez, we've been followed by somebody, Ralph. Oh, I can't, I can't put my boat anywhere on the water that people won't follow me because of neutral. because of my expertise. Here's another boat. They're following me. Look at this. Get out of here! Hey! What do you guys think you are? We got a whole freaking ocean here. You got to come to my doing? spot. But I have a paying client here. I'm trying to make them successful for a big tip. Hey, Captain, are we close to our mark? Yeah. No, we're slipping a bit. Again, stop guiding the guy. Okay, okay. My gosh, just shut up and fish. You're so good with your guests. Oh. Oh. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. My name is Glenn Venus. Trophy West. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God, you're incredible. <laughs> yep. You want it in neutral? Yep. 
Yeah, yeah well. we got him, Ralphie. We got him, buddy. Oh, yeah. Hey, I put you on the hole, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, take this to the book, kids. Take this to the book. I take my <laughs> clients to a great spot of mine and boats. Look, here's another boat. It just doesn't pay to be successful. To go out and say, well, you know what? We've got a spot where we want to catch some halibut, and you go out there, and, and in 10 minutes, you're done. Yeah, they know their spot. Good spot, Glenn. Thank you, man. Uh, wait, I found it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Glenn Venus, and I'm really sort of a big thing. You know, all kidding aside, we have so much fun with Glenn and the guys, and, and we love teasing back and forth. They may not show it, but he picks on me way more than I pick on him. Look We're cruising on a 23-foot enclosed boat, and we're looking for the bears uh, in the, at the specific times of the tide. If we spot a good boar that we want to look at closer, we'll go and make a move on it, use the wind, sneak in. If it's appropriate, then we'll harvest it. If it isn't, then we'll move on and look for a bigger one. There's a big one in there. A big one, big one. And normally, the big ones will come out and control the food source, right? Yeah. The little ones won't feed where the big ones are. Because they're smart. Does it look like really dark? Like It is dark. After we've spotted a bear and we think it's a, a good bear to go after, we'll check the wind, get upwind of it, and drop the hunter and a guide off on the beach and start making the stock on it. Walking on these rocks is like hunting sheep at sea level. I mean, you are watching every step you're doing, but at the same time you're trying to hurry because you've got to get to that bear before he decides he's done feeding and wants to go back into the timber. No matter how quiet you try to be, it, you're gonna make some noise and you're hoping that you have just enough wind to cover that noise. Well, he saw a bear, he was coming this way and then he decided to stop coming this way. So goes my BC saga, unlike Ralph's that gets done in like five minutes of his hunt. Glenn and all his guides, they know what's happening. They have their favorite spots year after year that produce big boars year after year. And when the wind's right and the weather's holding up, man, you're getting in on bears. Big bears, great coastal black bears. I'm gonna get dropped off here and there's a road up here and get to the creek and try and work down the creek on top of them. It's the only shot we got at it. We can't get the boat in there, it's too shallow. We're glassing from a way off in the bay. We could see another bear popping out and another bear and another bear. And they were literally going back and forth, putting stalks on all these numerous bears. I mean, it was like, it was like bear heaven, man. You talk about bearing down in the ultimate situation, that was it. The bear is at the bottom of this creek right on the beach, but we can't get to him. If we keep going that way, the wind's gonna blow at him. So we gotta figure out how we get down to this creek. We go. Do we need a backtrack and just kind of follow it? Yeah. If we get up into that stuff up there. Yeah, and then come down. Yeah, I think we're right above them. All right, then we could see them too and can yeah. figure it out better. I'm okay. almost thinking if we go up here oh, yeah, I could and see. come down through the gully. And, and then get up. Yeah. Okay. close to the can of the stream, huh? Yeah. Come out on the stream and hope that covers our nose. Mm -hmm. That's all we can do. Yep. He's right here. Is he? Okay. So see, there's the back across the other side. Yep. So he's right there. Okay. Way at us. 
spare took off. We had to come down the creek. Unfortunately, the bear decided to go towards the creek and start drinking. And we uh, kind of met him, met him kind of midstream and he saw us, took, our wind was blowing downstream anyways. But in the meantime, yeah, we see him. I'm almost wondering if that's the same bear that we just uh, shoot off. I'm so Come on, one. <laughs> Squirrel. We checked the wind originally and we thought we were going to have to get back in the boat and get dropped off on the other side, but the wind shifted in our favor, so we were able to get up into the timber and we hiked along the timber edge for quite a ways and we dropped down where I thought the bear would be roughly and we ended up about 25 yards uh, away from him in behind a uh, nice little piece of cover. It was a matter of waiting because the bear was looking directly at us. Vicky drew back and the bear looked at us and she held that thing and held it and held it and held it. And I finally looked at her and said, Vicky, let, let go. Um, but she didn't, she just kept hanging on. I couldn't believe it. Vicky drew back and the bear looked at us and she held that thing and held it and held it and held it. She just kept hanging on. I couldn't believe it. I don't know how she hung on to it that long. I centered him. I probably had back long. A little back. A little back. Ralph goes out and he spends like five minutes and gets a bear. This is my third day out with my Hoyt. Spotted a bear over there, sat there, waited. He went up and fed. Spot another one here. They dropped us off. We went all the way up this old logging road, down and around, through the thickest, nastiest stuff, end up running into that same bear. The guys out in the boat, Ralph and Glenn, they're like, oh, there's another bear down the beach. It's a sow. We get all the way up to her, 40 yards, drew back on her. It's a sow, let back down. They're like, oh, that other bear's back in the corner. So we hightailed it back up through the mountains, up through the woods, back around, came out right here, and he was right here. Got back on him, hit him, hair back, like probably like, back lung, back lung. probably back yeah. lung. I mean, I centered him. You centered him. I yeah. centered him. I didn't like pure back end, back end, but back can't, lungs. can't go up the hill. In fact, you could hear him try to go up the hill and yeah, he came he back could. down. Yeah. So that he was good. He barely made it through here. Wait here, Vic. I'm gonna go up and just take a peek over the top there and see if he's laying up there. Okay. There's a bit of blood right here. Okay. He's all done. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. He didn't go too far. No, he didn't go far at all. Even though. I got to tell you, you worked for that one. <laughs> You're not kidding. Well, thank you guys. Oh. Trophy West, you guys are the go. best. And you know what? Thank the big Lord up above for watching over us and making sure that You're a we went quick and. To go through everything I've dragged you through. <laughs> You've done well. And I got it with my bow. It's been a couple years since I got it with my bow up here. So yeah. usually I have my TC on me. This is awesome. This is a beautiful bear. And now we're gonna try taking him out to the shore because yep. Ralph and Glenn should be coming up or? Yes. Right? Glenn will be coming up in the path, so. I am gonna be pooped tonight. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That's a big word for you. Thank you. I can't spell it, but it sounds good. It Thank was. you, Glenn, everyone, Glenn, Ken. Everyone up there, yep. Shelly, Shannon, Matt, I mean, Shannon, all, they're all of you guys up there. Thank you Trophy so much, West Trophy rocks. West Outfitters. It does. You guys were just awesome. If you happen to see Lucky Logo, which was True Glow. True Glow, when brightness counts, count on True Glow. You know, a little Ranger oversight. You need awesome. to log on to archerschoice.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win some great stuff from True Glow, as well as some of our other manufacturers. Wow, said that Next all week. in one breath. Next week, it's Illinois, our home state, and we're chasing big bucks, spotting and stalking. Yeah. 
big deer. Vicky probably hunted most of the season because that's what always happens. You know, always let Vicky go first. But then they called in, they called in. Whatever, you know. Me. Thanks for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll yeah. see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the I'm Archer's Ralph. Choice. Stop calling it Ralph's Archer's Choice. It's Vicky's Archer's Choice. This week it was.